Oh, well, okay. 15-10. Let's develop the knight, defending the pawn. And then moving real quick. Can we... I think we lose tempo if we do this move, but I'm going to hit the pawn anyway. And yeah, let's grab here. So from this point, got to look to now improve my position. It looks a bit scrappy, looks a bit messy, but let's see if we can. So I'm going to attack the bishop. I think he's going back to here. Ooh, no. They've gone greedy munch. I think that helps us. I think that weirdly help, helps us. Oh, we've made a boob. <laughs> we've probably made a boob. Hmm. Ah, okay. Let's just bring this here so then they do go back up to here. Then we attack with the bishop. So we must have got a bit carried away with the pawn um, grabbing in the early part and we didn't look at the position that we were in so we've got to own, own that now. So the opponent's up plus six out of that. Whipped off some pawns, whipped off a rook. Bishop's going back to safety. And they moved really quick up until that point. Now they're just taking the time. Maybe they're thinking I should be resigning because I've lost my rook and I've lost a few um, pawns. It's gone up, just attack. So they can afford to trade down now. I'm just wondering, can we improve our position at all? Oh, what's happened? It's attacking the knight. Could defend with the queen. It's going to be taking another pawn. Could hit the queen with the bishop. Still takes the pawn. Bring the queen here, takes the pawn, get the knight doing a pretend move of sorts, come up here, get the rook. Okay. Although he does get our rook in the corner, doesn't he? Let's go here. I don't think there's any way back now unless the opponent makes some massive mistakes like overworking the queen and not developing any pieces. And allows us to get this um, rook off the board and stuff without any further trouble. That's the only way we can come back into this. We've taken an absolute annihilation. It's the plus seven now. <laughs> really. The only slightest of positives is that we've got pieces developed. Queen, knight potential for the bishop we're actually on the rook the knight's going to come and defend this though which is going to be a bit annoying because what do we have a little eye on here but there's nothing to support bishop's not doing anything devastating See any other way in, Bishop? Yeah. Oh, it's gone up. 
taking it anyway. <laughs> I don't care. So his queen's going to come back and defend the knight. So they're plus two at the moment. Still shocking. Still shocking. I mean, there's peeling little pawns off here and there, but we really want to get a good, better position. Yeah, they've gone there. <clears throat> knight coming here, attacking this pawn. Pawn drops, knight comes up. King comes across, attacking the knight. Doesn't really give me much benefit. Oh, bishop comes up. No, the knight's defending that square. Blah, 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 blah. Just take a pawn. Get the rook in the game. Attack. Drops. Attack his knight. Knight takes. Bishop takes. Knight check. King. Come back. Potential for a check on the king, knight takes, knight takes. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. I think I'm going to go with that anyway. It seems a bit more proactive than the bishop coming out to nowhere. If we come back from this, I mean, this will be a big shocker because we got totally annihilated in that opening. That's nothing like what we said, is it? King's gonna take though. It's going like that. Because if the queen takes, the queen just takes the knight, so the king's going to take. If we bring the bishop here, x ray through to the queen as well. Pawn is obviously going to take. Then we take. On the king. Let me just look at that again. Do, 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 do. Right up. King moves. You know, I forgot on the move order what I was just talking about. I hate that. So I'll bring in the bishop here. Knight's not going to take because the bishop will take the queen. So we're expecting the pawn to drop. We take. Oh, it's that moment where we take that the bishop is blocked. So the queen's not going to be under threat. So then the knight could take. then we would win his queen wouldn't we because our pawn is here we would go up with the pawn onto the king king can't come here so it either has to go there or take okay i think that works doesn't it let's try that Although, he doesn't even have to do that, does he? You know, isn't it funny how you, I don't want to see the moves after I've made the move. He doesn't have to do that. I could just keep pressing here and here and then... Here. Ooh. I was going for an exchange. I don't want to exchange, do I? Ooh. 
he's plus two. I don't want to exchange. And he's blocked this pawn as well. So if we went here, then there, then there, then there. If we put the check on the king. King moves across. King moves across. Check on the king. King moves across. So I'm trying to fathom whether I'm not I'm going to get this queen with my queen. If we go check here, the king there's nothing else that can defend that. So the king moves across to attack the knight. So it's no longer near the queen. And if the bishop takes the knight, the queen can't take because we've got the check through and out from our queen. And we have a check on the king with the bishop. So in essence, I suppose the bishop, king can take the bishop. So it can take the bishop, our knight is still here, so then we could come back and attack the king. The king doesn't want to go, well, it could go back or it could come down and attack the knight. And again, we can just keep going backwards and forwards if need be. Oh, I don't know, I don't think it's going to work out like that, is it? But I think I'm going to go for that rather than the exchange and hope that the confusion gives us something okay so this was the bit take if the knight takes then we take the queen off the board but i think the king's going to take but in any event it's a piece for a piece is it not so that's the bit where we're saying they can't take and then we've brought the knight down and it was the decision as to we will take the queen off at some point i suppose let's go here with the check that's where we got to depends what they do next now do they go back do they go to the side no it does actually come down for it so then we say we could go here and that's where I'm like thinking, do I really want to do that or not? Could go here, attack his knight, but then my queen is a... Uh, go back and put the check on. King can't come back up to get it. So, could move out down here just to get out of the way. We take... Don't think the rook's going to take, I think the knight will take. And then my knight's in a funny position really, isn't it? So if we take, like I said, I don't think the rook will take, I think the knight will take. And it's got my pawn. Damn, it's always going to be a pawn up. Go and hit the king, but it still takes the pawn. Uh, yeah, precarious position, I mean. Can't save my queen at all, can I? Mm. Oh, if we take and the knight takes, bring the knight around. King takes the pawn, knight comes up. Attacking the pawn here. Oh, it looks a bit sketchy, doesn't it? Alright, let's go with that. Very sketchy. Let's take it with the rook. Ooh, no, no fog. Alright, then it looks like there's going to be an exchange going on of the knights. So they're plus one now. They had like a plus knight. What? We get to double their...
Frauen. I don't think we're gonna win out though, he's, he's got these here. Let's just take Yeah. He's got the passer and then his king's just gonna come down and take these here. Yes, yeah, so we don't stand a chance in this particular game. When they wake up, they'll realise that their king can come across here. Yeah, bad start to that one. That was my own fault. Yeah, too many grabs in the early part. And let's go here. That's all I can do, there's nothing else I can do. Shuffle, shuffle. Yeah, they're definitely winning out on that side, aren't they? Yes, nothing else for me to do. Go here, he just comes to the side. Bad opening cost. It's done. I should resign, really. I've gone through the pain. Yeah, so in this particular game, um, the opening... I think I moved a little bit too quickly. In terms of just obliterating the pawns out, I should have just taken my time a little bit and just let's have a look at this, see what I am potential. Yeah, so I've given up a pawn in the centre here, that's not good. Yeah, so should have supported, you know, brought some pieces out or before we did any of that, just simple manoeuvres, you know, developing the knight, that type of thing, something on them lines. You know, then simple supports, easy development, rather than just blasting the pawns out because it's got the Fianchetto. We normally would defend against the Fianchetto type force um, in this one here, though. I think we've got a little bit too blase, and so we paid the price for that. And the opponent maintained some type of pressure throughout the game. So it wasn't that the opponent was playing any great game, it was a matter of us making that error in the early part of the game. So then we were trying to chase a good position, which we didn't quite get. Almost did, but didn't quite get. So yeah, let's move on. Next one.